This is called the black knob sawback. It's the northern version of the southern one that's a little different in pattern. You can see that the scoots are starting to split apart. That means growth rings, which means that they're growing and it's got a nice hard shell from the local sun here. The serration, and this makes the, the sawback is the black serrated tooth, whatever you want to call it. Kind of little knobs on the back are cool. Yeah, the it looks big knobs, yeah. super prehistoric on this guy. And then you got all the lines, great pattern on these little guys. I don't know if he's going to pop his head out, but. And again, these guys get three, four inches, the males, and the females get bigger? Uh, the males get about five inches, four inches, five inches. Mm -hmm. The females get about six inches of this species. Okay. They don't get as big as the southern. I'll give you the southern version of it yeah, right now. Yeah, show the southern. Now, this is the southern version. So they almost look identical on the top, but you turn them over and the pattern is completely different. Whoa. So this is the southern version of the, and the northern. These are called black knob sawbacks. And great little turtles. The females of this southern species get about eight inches, nine inches, compared to six inches here. So. And the males about the same? Males stay about four inches. They don't get any I'm bigger. Both than, yeah. okay. So, but from the top, they look all almost identical. It and looks totally sawtooth. The outside edges of those. Yeah, both of them are both real serrated on the the back side. So. These guys are fantastic. Great little turtle. Are they are they hard on plants? Aquatic plants in the pond? No, uh, actually, the southerns. Uh, actually, both of these will eat the plants, but they only eat the roots of the water hyacinths. Okay. They will not eat any of the... Um, what about water lilies? No. Uh, I haven't tried the water lilies, but I think they will eat some of the leaves, but not the, not the roots. Okay. So, but they're great little pond turtles. They live a long time. So... They're kind of shy, real shy animal. They never stick around. So the adults, do they have that same attitude, like just hide in their shell, run away? As soon as you walk up to the pond, they will just scatter and get in the water and hide. So you have to pretty much be into these guys to, to want them. I mean, because the diamondback terrapins, they like come right up to you and want right. to get out of your yeah, hands, the, right? Yeah, the, the, that, that's like the puppy dog of all turtles. Right. The, the, these guys are real skittish. But it's still a great little animal. Southern black knob sawbacks. Yep. The, the name is so fitting with the way they look. I mean, and um, tell us about the rock in there. The rock is just, of course, the normal uh, basking stuff. area. Basking and area. They need to get out and bask. And you're giving them how much light a day? I mean, sunlight. Well, they're up 24/7. They they don't come in. As soon as they they hatch, they're outside. And that's the the optimal way. Because the most most of the time when people get aquatic turtles like this are putting them in, a, in an aquarium. Right, right. But I'm here in Southern California. I do have the water heated, but and I cover them up at night so the heat stays in. But during the day, they they love the sun. They're stacked four high on top of the rock. Everybody's trying to get the sun. Yeah, that'd be a funny picture right there. Yeah, I, I had some pretty crazy pictures. So, but they're the great little animals. They, all Look, those guys are about three, four weeks old. Let's talk about when they when they come out again after you pull them out of the uh, out of the incubator, right? Yep. You pull the eggs out of the incubator. They're coming out. They use their their egg tooth to to get out, and then they still have a little bit of egg yolk on the bottom of them before you bring them outside. It has to be almost all gone before you can put them in the water, because if you if the egg yolk is in the water, they can get affected, it, right? Well, it, or it, it breaks open, and then it loses all the body fluids and then, then they die. Oh, that's not good. So so that's important to have it, them come out. The it right has time. to be closed, almost closed, closed before you can bring them out. And then it still takes how much longer before they start eating at that point? Uh, up to a week. Okay. So so they can live off that egg yolk for about a week? Yeah, that's outdoors. their life source for, for the yeah. first uh, few weeks uh, when they ha hatch out. Tell our viewers about, about how, um, like, on this one, 
the sawtooth is a little bit crooked, right? And that's yeah, it, they come was, out like that sometimes. It was in the egg, right? I mean, the egg kind of pressed it down a little bit. Yeah. So yeah, it's not a problem. It's just uh, after they, uh, you know, hatch out, uh, it'll straighten out after a while once they get bigger and the, after they, they get some uh, uh, new growth, it'll start to straighten out. <laughs> yeah. So this one's got nice straight sawtooth. And this one's just laying down a little bit, but you say after it grows a little bit and it, it, yeah, it'll it straighten out. Straightens out. And uh, if not, then after the first couple uh, times they uh, shed their scoots, then it'll uh, straighten out. That's fascinating. But the, look at the head pattern, the great little head patterns. Right. When, when we had them out earlier, they didn't want to come out, but now that I have them hanging next to the next to the water, a little oh, bit, yeah. they a little love bit it. more. <clears throat> Remind me, is it the northern again? Look, I'm looking no, at the that's bottom. The southern. southern. Okay, the southern has uh, the that's stripes. That's the southern. This is the so northern. So that's how I'm going to remember. The southern has the stripes. This is the oh, northern. Well, that has stripes. This one doesn't have stripes. <laughs> it's more blotchy. Yeah, blotchy stripes. So it's vice versa. The northern has the stripes, the southern has the blotch. Cool. Less pattern on the northern. 